one of the things I was having a conversation with someone and they were just, they're just exhausted, right? They said, there's so much going on with COVID-19, with the civil unrest that's out there, the economic challenges that people are talking about. And it's, a, it's a, also a political year. Um, people are a bit overwhelmed and it almost seems like we, we really do have a mental health crisis. Um, you know, what would you advise people that, to do to help them work through these scenarios with their employees? That is a great question. And you, you said a lot, 2020 has been, you know, relenting in so many ways, right? Um, for everything you, you mentioned, and let's not forget the murder hornets, right? Oh, yeah. um, yes. But, but healthcare plans have seen a huge uptick in the number of prescriptions that have been written for both uh, depression and anxiety. Uh, medication and you know anecdotally you know companies knew that all of these things were impacting their their employees but that that really helped to confirm it um, so some of the things that we've done um, and I I'll go back and just say you know it has affected all of us um, but we all are dealing with it in different ways um, so some of the things that we've done at ThoughtWorks is we've tried to set the tone that it's okay to not be okay. Um, we started a, a Wellness Wednesday program where every Wednesday for an hour we talk about a different wellness related topic. Um, we've done stuff on our employee assistance program, uh, mindfulness, financial well-being, your career well-being, we started a walking and, and step challenge. Um, we've done yoga. We even did pets on parade last Wednesday. Um, we created a program for employees to donate vacation time to you know other employees who may have to deal with with COVID, um, who are impacted by. Uh, child and elder care because of uh, issues related to, to COVID. We've allowed our employees uh, to work a flexible work schedule as much as possible. We've encouraged the use of vacation time or taking a, a, a leave of absence. Um, there were also some, some, uh, some ways that the, the government allowed employers to help their employees with making changes to their medical plan in the middle of the year or making changes to their flexible spending accounts. So we allowed all of that. Communication has also been important. Uh, we started a, a weekly communication from our managing director that talks about the, the state of the business. And every Friday we have a, a town hall meeting and we allow employees to, to post questions um, and participate um, on that every Friday. So those are just a few ways that we've been able to do that. Um, and we also thought it was important to, to have candid conversations with our leaders about what are they doing to, to deal with anxiety and stress. Um, and so that, that's definitely one thing overall. But then we also have to think about um, 2020 hasn't impacted everyone the same way. Um, if we look at the black and brown communities. I think there's been a disproportionate impact of COVID-19 um, because you, you typically see more, more black and brown people uh, in essential roles. Um, you know, we've, we've had to memorialize more of our loved ones, you know, via Zoom because you couldn't funeralize them in the normal way. Um, then you add in the civil unrest um, and again, these are things that obviously impact everyone, um, but for every viral video that you see, um, there are countless number that, that don't make it um, to prime time, and we are, are absorbing that every day. And so, you know, organizations have to realize that their employees may not be okay. Um, and we need to look for ways to be able to address, uh, to address racism. We have to look for ways to be able to better support our employees um, and just be mindful that uh, people uh, may not always be there in those meetings on the Zoom calls and be a little mm -hmm. more empathetic. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's um, you you listed some great great things uh, to cover. Uh, I I really think that the the listeners should really go back and and kind of look at some of the things you covered because you covered a lot of things that may help us work through all the different scenarios, right? The you know the two big glaring ones are certainly uh, the COVID nineteen impact. Uh, and then all of all the unrest around all the civil unrest that's taking place and people just aren't knowing how to cope with that.